Hi, I'm Sarah. Before I dive into this crazy story, do me a solid and hit that like and subscribe button, all right? Trust me, you're going to want to stick around for this wild ride. I'm 35, single mom, two awesome kids. Lily, she's 10, and Max, he's 8. We're tight, you know, like movie nights, pillow forts, the whole shebang. Life ain't perfect, but we make it work. Now, enter Aunt Karen. She's my dad's sister, 45, no kids of her own. Growing up, she was the coolest aunt ever. Always had the best Christmas gifts. Took me to amusement parks, the works. But lately, man, something's off. Sarah, sweetie, how are you managing? Being a single mom must be so hard. That's Karen, at our last family BBQ, her voice dripping with fake concern. I'm flipping burgers, trying not to roll my eyes. We're doing great, Karen. The kids are happy. That's what matters. Of course, dear. It's just, well, children need so much attention. If you ever need help. I bite my tongue. Karen's been pushing this helpful aunt act hard lately. It's like she's trying to make up for lost time or something. Mom, can Aunt Karen take us to the zoo next weekend? Lily pipes up, eyes shining. Oh, I'd love to. Karen jumps in before I can answer. We'll have so much fun, just the three of us. I feel a twinge in my gut. Actually, I was thinking we could all go together, make it a family day. Karen's smile falters for a second. Oh, but Sarah, you work so hard. You should rest on your day off. Yeah, Mom, Max chimes in. Aunt Karen always takes us to cool places. I force a smile. We'll see, buddy. Later, I'm tucking the kids in when Lily asks, Mom, why don't you do fun stuff with us like Aunt Karen does? Ouch, that stings. Honey, we do lots of fun things. Remember our camping trip last month? Yeah, but Aunt Karen says you're always too busy for us. I freeze. She said that? Lily nods, already half asleep. I kiss her forehead, mind racing. In the kitchen, I pour myself a glass of wine, thinking back to when Karen first started acting weird. It was right after her last fertility treatment failed. I remember the family dinner, the forced smiles, the way she couldn't take her eyes off Lily and Max. You're so lucky, Sarah, she'd said, voice thick. You have no idea. I didn't think much of it then. But now, the extra gifts, the constant offers to babysit, the little comments, it's adding up to something I don't like. My phone buzzes. It's Karen. Just checking in, sweetie. The kids seemed a little down today. Is everything okay at home? I stare at the message, a chill running down my spine. What's her game here? Everything's fine, Karen. Thanks for your concern. I put the phone down, uneasy. I love Karen. I do. She's family. But this over-attachment to my kids, it's starting to feel less like aunt of the year and more like... something else. Something not right. Life decided to throw me a curveball. My boss called me into her office one morning, and I'm thinking, great, what now? Sarah, we're promoting you to senior project manager. It comes with a significant pay raise, but... But... You'll need to put in some extra hours. Think you can handle it? I'm grinning like an idiot. Absolutely. I'll make it work. Fast forward to me trying to juggle this new gig and the kids. I'm scrambling, feeling like I'm dropping balls left and right. Karen, swooping in like some fairy godmother. Sarah, darling, you look exhausted. Let me take the kids off your hands for a few hours. I'm so grateful I could cry. Are you sure? That would be amazing, Karen. Of course. What are ants for? So, Karen starts picking up the kids from school, taking them to activities, the works. At first, it's great. But then, things get... weird. One day, I come home early to surprise the kids. I hear Karen's voice from the kitchen. Your mom's always so busy with work. It's sad she doesn't have more time for you. I freeze, not sure I heard right. Lily's voice pipes up. But mom says her job is important. Oh, sweetie, don't you think you're more important? I'm about to storm in when Max speaks. Aunt Karen, can we live with you instead? My heart stops. Karen's reply is too quiet for me to hear, but I've heard enough. I make some noise, pretending I just got home. That night I call my neighbor Mike. He's been my rock through all this single mom stuff. Mike, am I going crazy? Karen's been so helpful, but something feels off. Trust your gut, Sarah. You're a great mom. If something feels wrong, it probably is. His words stick with me, but I'm still unsure. The next day, Lily throws a fit when I tell her we can't afford a new bike. But Aunt Karen said she'd buy me one. Lily, we can't always rely on Aunt Karen. We need to be grateful for what we have. 
You're so mean. Aunt Karen says you don't understand kids. I'm floored. This isn't my sweet Lily talking. That evening, I confront Karen. Karen, I need you to stop undermining me with the kids. She looks hurt. Sarah, I would never. I love those kids like they're my own. That's the problem. They're not your kids. They're mine. Are you saying I can't see them anymore? After all I've done? I backpedal, feeling guilty. No, no, I just... We need some boundaries. Karen nods, teary-eyed. Of course. I'm sorry if I overstepped. I only wanted to help. I feel like the world's biggest jerk. Karen's been a godsend with the kids. Maybe I am just stressed and paranoid. I'm sorry, Karen. I didn't mean to snap. Of course, you can still help with the kids. She hugs me, and I try to ignore the uneasy feeling in my gut. I'm probably just tired. Yeah, that's it. Everything will be fine. Things went from bad to worse real quick. I'm talking nuclear meltdown level. One morning, I asked Max to clean his room before school. You can't tell me what to do. You're not even here most of the time. My brain short-circuited for a moment. Excuse me? Where did that come from, young man? Aunt Karen says you care more about your job than us. My blood boiled. This was the last straw. I called Mike as soon as the kids left for school. Mike, I can't take it anymore. The kids are turning against me. Whoa, slow down. What happened? I spilled everything. The backtalk. The attitude. Karen's influence. Sarah, this is serious. Have you considered... I don't know. Maybe setting up some cameras. What? Like spy on my own house? Look... If Karen's really manipulating the kids, you need proof. I hated the idea, but Mike had a point. That afternoon, I installed tiny cameras in the living room and kitchen. Felt like a total creep. But I was desperate. A few days later, I hit the jackpot. Or maybe I should say, I uncovered a cesspool. There was Karen, sitting with Lily and Max on the couch. You know, your mom's always so busy. It's like she doesn't really want to be around you. Lily looked upset. But she says she loves us. Oh, sweetie. Actions speak louder than words. If she really loved you, wouldn't she be here? I felt sick. But it got worse. You know, I've been thinking. How would you two like to come live with me? I could adopt you, give you a better life? Max perked up. Really? You'd do that? Of course, we'd be so happy together. But first, we need to make sure your mom can't stop us. How? Well, there are people called Child Protective Services. If we tell them your mom isn't taking good care of you, they'll let you come live with me. I couldn't believe my ears. Karen was coaching my kids to lie to CPS. But that's not true, Lily said, hesitating. Lily, honey, sometimes we have to bend the truth a little to get what's best for everyone. Don't you want us to be a real family? I'd seen enough. I called Mike, my hands shaking. Mike, you gotta come over. Now. He was there in five minutes flat. I showed him the footage, feeling like I was going to hurl. Holy shit, Sarah, this is... This is insane. What do I do? She's trying to steal my kids. Okay, first, breathe. We've got evidence now. We can fight this. Just then, my phone pinged. An email from my lawyer. Oh my god. Mike, look at this. Karen's filed for custody. She's claiming I'm an unfit mother. I broke down, sobbing. Mike held me, trying to calm me down. It's okay, Sarah. We'll fight this. She won't get away with it. How could she do this? She's family. I trusted her. Some people are just toxic, Sarah. But you're strong. You'll get through this. I wiped my eyes, anger replacing despair. You're damn right I will. Those are my kids, and I'm not letting that snake take them from me. That's the spirit. Now let's call your lawyer and show them this footage. As Mike made the call, I sat there still in shock. How had it come to this? My own aunt, trying to steal my children. The betrayal cut deep, but I wasn't going down without a fight. Mike, what if the kids believe her? What if they want to go with her? Hey, don't think like that. Once they know the truth, they'll understand. Kids are smart. I nodded, trying to believe him, but a part of me was terrified. What if I'd already lost them? No, I couldn't think like that. I had to be strong, for Lily and Max. I'd fight Karen with everything I had. All right, Mike, let's do this. It's time to take that snake down. I called Karen, my voice shaking with rage. We need to talk, now. She showed up at my door, all innocent smiles. Sarah, darling, what's wrong? 
I led her to the living room, laptop ready. Sit down, Karen. You've got some explaining to do. I hit play. Her face went from confusion to shock to fear as she watched herself manipulating my kids. How? How did you? Doesn't matter. What matters is you're done. You hear me? Done. She burst into tears. Sarah, please. You don't understand. Oh, I understand plenty. You tried to steal my kids. I just... I wanted a family so badly. You have no idea what it's like. So you decided to destroy mine? God, Karen, I trusted you. She fell to her knees, sobbing. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking straight. Please, don't take them away from me. Take them away? They were never yours to begin with. Just then, Lily and Max walked in, eyes wide. Mom, what's going on? I took a deep breath. Kids, Aunt Karen won't be watching you anymore. Ever. Karen reached for them. Lily, Max, please. Don't you dare touch them. I stepped between them. Kids, go to your rooms, now. You can't do this. I'll fight you in court. I laughed bitterly. With what? This video? Good luck explaining that to a judge. Her face crumbled. Please, Sarah. They're all I have. No, Karen, they're all I have. And I'm not letting you poison them against me anymore. Get out. She left. A broken mess. I felt hollow inside. The next few months were tough. Lily and Max were confused. Hurt. We had some long talks. But why would Aunt Karen lie to us? Sometimes, honey, adults do bad things when they're hurting. It doesn't make it right. Slowly, we rebuilt our bond. Movie nights became a thing again. We went camping, just the three of us. It wasn't perfect, but it was ours. Six months later, we were at the park with Mike. The kids were on the swings when I spotted her. Karen, looking haggard and alone. She approached hesitantly. Sarah, please. Can we talk? I stood my ground. There's nothing to say, Karen. I'm in therapy now. I've changed. Please, just let me apologize. Lily and Max ran up saw Karen, and froze. Kids, let's go, I said firmly. As we walked away, I heard Karen call out, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I felt a twinge of pity, but it passed quickly. She'd made her choices. Mom, can Mike come over for dinner? Lily asked. I smiled at Mike, who winked back. Sure, honey, I think that's a great idea. As we packed up to leave, I realized something. We were happy, really, truly happy. The story's over. Now, I've got a question for you. If you were in my shoes, would you ever forgive Karen for trying to steal your kids? Or is some betrayal just too deep to come back from? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'm really curious to hear what you'd do in this situation. If you enjoyed this wild ride, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more intense stories like this one. Your support helps me keep bringing you these real-life dramas.